add and subtract money with word problems. This is the addition sign. It is a sign that we use when we add things together. When you see the word addition or the addition sign on a math problem, it means what is the total. Another way of saying that is, how many do you have all together? You could add up two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, and more. When the addition sign is shown, it just means that we are trying to find out how many there are in all. Sometimes we call that finding the sum or total. That's just a fancy way of saying, what do all of those numbers equal or add up to? So what does adding or addition look like? Have you ever opened a bag of candy and divided it evenly between you and a sibling or a friend? Maybe you even said, one for you, one for me, while you were dividing it up. After you're done dividing your candy, do you each count your pile to make sure you both have the same number? Well, when you count those candies, you are doing addition. You're adding the candies together to find out how many you have total. Now, what do you think you'd do if you found out that you had two more candies than your friend? You'd probably try to make it fair. And to make it fair, you'd need to take away one of your candies and give it to your friend. And just like there is a word for when we add things together using math, there's also a word for when we take something away. That word is subtract. Subtraction is the opposite of addition. Instead of adding numbers together, subtraction means we are taking them away. Other ways of saying the word subtraction are how many fewer, how many are left, or what is the difference? Have you ever seen someone pay for something with cash and then get change back? Maybe you've done that before. That change is the leftover money after a worker subtracts the amount someone owes for the things they bought. Have you ever taken some money to the store because you wanted to buy a treat? When you were at the store, you probably looked at the price of the treat you wanted so you could see if you had enough money to buy it. First, you would have to add up all your money to find the total amount you have. Then you would need to subtract the price of the treat from your money. That way, you'd know if you have enough money to buy the treat or not. Imagine if you and your friend were at the store and you both wanted some M&Ms. You had money, but your friend didn't. After buying one bag of M&Ms, you might figure out how much change you have left. Then you could see if there was enough money left over to buy your friend a package of M&Ms too, or if you just needed to share yours. Figuring out the change is doing subtraction, and buying an extra package of M&Ms is doing addition. You will add and subtract often in life. Because of that, you'll get a lot of chances to practice adding and subtracting. You're probably familiar with an addition or subtraction problem. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 minus 1 equals 0. But have you ever seen a math problem using money before? They look like this. $1.12 plus $3.06 equals $4.18. Have you ever had to do a story problem in math? That's where you are given a short story that involves numbers, and you have to figure out an answer for that story. Money word problems are just story problems that involve money. These problems give you examples of things you might see in real life, like the example of you and your friend at the store trying to figure out if you have enough money to buy one, or two packages of M&Ms. That's a math word problem. The purpose of math word problems is to give you practice for the math problems you will have in real life. You will have many opportunities 
to work on money word problems in school. Solving them will be easier if you know some key words. Key words help you decide if you use addition or subtraction to solve a problem. Let's review some of those. Some key words for addition are total, sum, both, all, add, altogether, plus, increase, and combine. Subtraction uses the key words like decrease, fewer, difference, less than, remain, minus, take away, and left. Look for any of those words before you begin trying to solve a math word problem so you'll know if you're adding or subtracting. To write a money word problem, it's important to line up the numbers. $1.12 plus $3.06 equals $4.18. The numbers before the decimal line up. The decimals line up as well. And so do the numbers after the decimal. You will then add up each of those numbers in order to find the total. Always start with the numbers in the right-hand column. We do that in case there are leftover numbers, and we need to add those leftover numbers to the next column. Now, let's add up the numbers 6 plus 2 equals 8. The 8 gets placed underneath the line because that's where the answer goes. Make sure the 8 is lined up underneath the 2 and the 6 because those are the two numbers you added together to get 8. Now let's move to the next column of numbers. This is a bit easier than the last two numbers. What is 0 plus 1? It's 1, right? Now, place the 1 underneath the line under the 0 and the 1. Next, we need to place the decimal point underneath the decimal points above it. Decimals separate numbers. In money word problems, the numbers on the right side of the decimal are the change amount, and the numbers on the left side of the decimal are the dollar amount. Now it's time to add again. 1 plus 3 equals 4. The 4 gets placed underneath the line on the left side of the decimal. Add the dollar sign, and there's your answer. Remember, the first number in the answer represents the dollar amount, or $4. The numbers on the right side of the decimal stand for the change, or 18 cents. When you put all the numbers together, you get $4.18. If you were trying to buy a candy bar for $1.12 and a small toy for $3.06, $4.18 is the total amount you would need to pay to buy both items. Great job learning how to add up money! Subtracting works the same way. But instead of adding numbers together, we subtract them. $5.67 minus $2.42 equals $3.25. Remember to start with the column on the right side of the decimal point. What is 7 minus 2? You're right. Write the 5 underneath the line. Next, what is 6 minus 4? Good! Put the 2 below the line and next to the 5. Next, place a decimal under the other decimals. Finally, what is 5 minus 2? Yep, the 3 goes in front or on the left side of the decimal. Since this equation is talking about money, it's important not to forget to add your dollar sign. The answer is $3.25. Great job! Now, 
Let's see if you can solve a money word problem on your own. When you look into your backpack, you realize that you are running low on school supplies. So you go to the store and purchase a new set of markers for $3.22 and a new set of colored pencils for $5.34. What is the total amount it will cost for both the markers and the colored pencils? First, let's figure out if you're adding or subtracting. Are we taking away numbers in this money word problem, or are we adding them together? Find the key words or phrases in the money word problem and decide if you're using addition or subtraction. If we want to know the total amount of the two items together, then we must add up those items. So, we are using addition for this word problem. Now, just like you did in the other problem, start adding up each column. Nice job! Let's look at that equation a different way this time. You look into your backpack and realize that you are running low on markers. A new set of markers costs $3.22. You have $5.34 in your wallet. How much money will you have left over after you buy the markers? First, Look for the key word in the money word problem to find out if this equation is asking you to add or subtract. This time, you will be subtracting, right? Next, we need to line up the numbers. Always put the bigger number or amount on top and the lesser amount underneath. Ready to subtract? OK, start with the last column again. Did you get $2.12 for your answer? Great job learning how to add and subtract money word problems. Can you think of some other situations where you would need to add or subtract money? Like a grocery store, a movie, lemonade stand, or vending machine? You can practice adding and subtracting items in the grocery store or a toy store. You can also do it at a restaurant using the menu while you wait for your dinner. It doesn't matter where you do it. The important thing is to just keep practicing. Believe it or not, before long, you'll even be able to do some in your head. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. For more educational resources, click the link below.